In this video, I'm going to show you how to do French ladder braided pigtails. I started off by doing half the braid already to save a little bit of time for the video. The way to start this braid is to part your hair down the middle, all the way down to the neck, and then pin the side that you're not going to use out of your way. And then you're going to start by taking a small triangle section in the front of the hair, and you're going to start a French braid with it and go a little ways down with the French braid. And the reason you do this is because if you start the feather braid too high up, then it doesn't look quite right when you're done. So I like to braid down a little ways before I start. And now you're going to start leaving your feather pieces out. So take a small slice of hair out of the section on the outside before you add it in to the French braid. Once you've taken the piece out, you're going to go ahead and treat it like a normal French braid cross the section over the middle and then add a slice of hair in. When you add hair into your inside section, you are just going to treat it like a normal French braid. You don't leave any hair out. Repeat these steps all the way down to the bottom of the neck always leaving your feather piece out on the outside section before you cross the section over and add hair in. On the outside section, always just cross it over without leaving hair out. From this point, there are a couple of different things that you can do. You can put an elastic on and just have it as pigtails from here. But the thing that I did on this braid is to continue my feather pieces all the way down until I almost run out of hair. Since you're not adding hair in anymore, as you braid, the pieces you're braiding with are going to get smaller and smaller. So when you get down to the ends, when you barely have any hair left to braid, go ahead and stop taking feather pieces out and just finish off with a three strand braid all the way to the tips and add an elastic to finish it off. Now as you can see, I've brought all of my feather pieces down. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to go all the way to the top feather piece from the previous braid and split it in three sections and you're going to start by doing a couple steps of a braid and then when you get to your top section you're going to add in the next feather piece and then the bottom section you're just going to cross it over like a regular braid without adding anything in so cross the top section over and add in the next feather piece and just keep on doing this all the way down. And you can decide how far you want your braid to sit away from the last one. Just try to remember to keep it consistent all the way down. Or as you can do here, I started out small and then I tapered out as I went. So it got a little further away. I'll just keep doing this all the way till you run out of feather pieces. Now the trick I use to join the two braids is by treating the first braid as your last feather section. 
So you're going to add it in exactly like you would your feather section and then just keep three strands. Now you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side only you're going to reverse it leaving your feather pieces out on the outside section of the braid.